Hey guys, it's Daniel. I want to bring you guys a little perspective on something that just happened that just warmed my heart uh, yesterday. So, Tulsi Gabbard was on The View, and, well, she kicked Joy Behar square in her ass. Let's, let's see that. Because recently on your show here... I was uh, just going to get to that. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Helping you out. You want me to ask you the um, question? Yeah, no, look, ask, some ask of you have accused me of being a, uh, a traitor to my country, a Russian asset, a Trojan horse, uh, or a useful, we haven't accused you a useful idiot, I think was the well, term useful. that you used. Which basically means that I'm uh, naive or, or lack that's intelligence a Russian to term. know what's going they on. They use that. I want to let, let your viewers know exactly who I am. All right. Set the record straight. I am a patriot. I love our country. I am a strong and intelligent woman of color. And I have dedicated almost my entire adult life to protecting the safety, security, and the freedom of all Americans in this country. It was the attacks on 9-11. We were getting we're getting a little bit far ahead of ourselves, but uh, Franklin Graham finds you refreshing. He doesn't find me refreshing. Uh, Richard Spencer, the white nationalist leader, says he could vote for you. Joy, this is why I mean this you're is on why you're I'm on here. Tucker Carlson at least ten times. Why don't you go on Chris this, Wallace's this is, show? This is why I'm here because you and other people continue to to spread these innuendos that have nothing to do with who I am. Well, Hillary Clinton started it, and then you I shot am. back at her boy. <laughs> you called her the queen of you, war you, 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 And you can see Joy just tries to come back with her little like interjections and everything. But you can tell Joy is fuming. And Tulsi has this. I mean, it, Joy looks like a complete fool. Uh, I, let's keep going. Double down. Unfortunately, you double down on the baseless accusations that she made that strikes at the core of who I am. I'm a soldier. Because of the attacks on 9-11... I enlisted in the military to go after and defeat and destroy the evil that visited us on that day. I've served now for over 16 years, I deployed twice the Middle East during the height of the war, where every single day I saw firsthand the terribly high human cost. That's why I ran for Congress. We actually have the clip of Hillary Clinton, just to put this in context of what we're much. talking about. Let's, let's take a look at that. I'm not making any predictions, but I think they've got their eye on somebody who's currently in the Democratic mm -hmm. primary and are grooming her to be the third party candidate. She's the favorite of the Russians. They have a bunch of, you know, sites and bots and other uh, ways of supporting her so far. Uh, and I, I'm, that, that's assuming Jill Stein will give it up, which she might not, because she's also a Russian uh, asset. So really, I mean, this is outrageous. This is outrageous and offensive on so many levels. I've served as a member of Congress now for almost seven years, receiving high-level national security and intelligence briefings, serving on the Foreign Affairs Committee, the Armed Services Committee, the Homeland Security Committee, working to ensure the safety and security of the people of this country. This is why I'm running for president, to continue that commitment of service. So are you surprised, though, that when people see bots and things and all the things that we've sort of been seeing heading you away, uh, that people have these questions because she's not the only one. Hillary, I don't think, is the only one. So yeah. what she's saying is she feels they are grooming you. You're saying nobody's grooming me. I'm doing what I'm doing because I'm a soldier and a patriot. It, it's offensive to me as a soldier, as an American, as a member of Congress, as a veteran, and frankly, as a woman, to be so demeaned in but you called her the personification in, of rock. So She's a woman, in such too. A way. Well, I'm pointing to the fact that she has continued this legacy of being the world's police around the world that has waged wars costing the lives of thousands of my brothers and sisters in uniform. I'm speaking out against that. And What's to your change, evidence to that? To change. Well, can I... Are can you I, serious? Let's hear it. Are you let's, serious? Let's hear it. I served in the war Not in you, Iraq. Her. You're saying that, that she's, exactly, she's a warmonger. I war served in the war in the, Iraq yeah. that she championed. She championed a regime change war in Libya. Did you not in believe Libya. in that war? I believe the lies that were told to us. Well, so did she. Uh, um, <laughs> it, it, is, it is indisputable. It is indisputable to say 
anything other than the fact well, this that, I, that Hillary, let me just close this out, that Hillary Clinton throughout her career has led with the foreign policy of interventionism mm -hmm. and being the world's police, going and toppling dictators in other countries that has caused such destruction and loss of life. I'm against that. I'm running for president to change that. Rather than actually debate me on the issues, she and others are resorting to these smear tactic campaigns, seeking to undermine me, smear my character, and sending a message to anyone who dissents, stand, toe the line, or you too will be smeared. One thing you have not been afraid to do. And look, this is what the show's for. So thank you for coming on. This is what these conversations are for. This is crazy. This is exactly what we've been talking about on the show so much. And it's crazy. I feel like we wouldn't be covering... Tulsi Gabbard, even a half as much as we do, if it wasn't for shit like this. I mean, literally, why is it that we have to spend so much time calling out the media for stuff that's obvious? I mean, you're literally calling Tulsi Gabbard over and over again a traitor for no goddamn reason because, what, Hillary Clinton said it? Hillary Clinton, the person who went from being the president's wife to being a senator— very corrupt, everything we've talked about, to failing to run and losing against a game show host. That's the person that we want to take extra serious. The person that we don't want to take serious is the person who has the highest level of security clearance, is on all the boards in Congress, has served the country for 16 years as a soldier who has been in Congress for so long, who put her entire everything in jeopardy by going against Hillary Clinton, which I think is the real crime here that this isn't discussed. And I really do wish Tulsi would bring it up more, that the real crime that Tulsi Gabbard has committed is thinking independently and speaking out and acting according to her own moral system. Now, I may not agree with everything Tulsi does, but overall, she's doing a fine job at what she's doing. And people need to lay off her. I mean, come on. This is what she's getting. This is a congresswoman who is currently in the armed forces, and it's just like when Hillary Clinton was running in 2016, uh, the biggest weakness that they found with Hillary Clinton was poll testing, of course, her Russian connections or the perceived Russian connections, depending on how you want to look at them. So what did she do? She hit Trump with Russia connections, and we're still feeling the results of that to this day. So to Joy Behar out there, come on. You're supposed to be one of the lucid ones on The View. I'm usually yelling at Megan McCain. Not you. Get your shit together. Anyway, this is Daniel with Hardlands Media. See you guys next time.